In this video, we're going to look at customizing the content area of a Google site. I've already accessed the themes, colors, and fonts area of Manage Site, and we're going to take a look at the content area. Now, as a reminder, the content area of your Google site is this portion of the page right here. So it's the part of the page where you're going to put your text, you're going to put your directions, your information for your students, you're going to add images, and so forth. So um, on themes, colors, and fonts, I'm going to access the content area, and we have four different things that we can customize here. The first one is background. Now, the above all else, your website needs to be readable. In other words, your viewers need to be able to read the information that's on the page. And in order to do that, you need to have a good background. So for most of your websites, the best background choice is going to be a plain white background with black text on top of it, as I have here. But let's just take a look at what happens when we do change the background color. So we'll go ahead and look at the paint bucket. And let's just go ahead and put in this yellow color. So again, while it may look fine or okay here, um, it may not be the best on all displays, on all monitors, on all tablets. White on white background with black text is going to be your best bet. So that's you can change the color of the background. You can also put an image in the background. Now if we do this, let's take a look. Remember we've got our image here on our wrapper and that's really if you want an accent image, that's really the best place to put it. But let's just see what happens if we put an image back there. We'll use the same bugs. We'll click open and it will upload and we'll see that when you put a background image and you're going to have text and different things on top of it, really makes the text hard to read. So avoid using an image for your background on the content area. Stick stick that if you want to use an image use that on the page background the wrapper image portion of the page um, so we're going to go ahead and take that off so we'll just click theme to reset it the next area that you can customize in content area is the page title and the page title is this part right here each page should have a title on it so again you can change the the font and because you're working with a one generally one, two short words. If you wanted to use a more decorative font here, um, you know, that's probably okay because you don't have a lot of text generally in your titles. But you can change the font. You can make that a different than the uh, font for the rest of the page if you want to. I'm going to reset that back. Well, we'll leave it there for we can look at these other things. You can change the color. And sometimes I will change the color of the title to a different, uh, an accent color while I leave the rest of the page. Um, in black and then you can also change the size of the um, title if you want to up to 36 points so I'm going to go ahead and reset those all back to the theme headers are special areas of your text that you can format um, to make them stand out and we don't have any headers on this particular page so it would be hard to see but you can change the font and the color of your headers text is the last area and your text is going to be anything except the title on the page anything except the title and the headers so again we can choose the font but here it's really important that you pick a font that's easy to read so this is not a place for an accent font this is a place for a font that's easy to read. I'm going to stick with the theme there. Again, the color, your best um, option when you're choosing a color is going to be black. If you have a white background, black text is going to be the best. And then you can change the size. And I oftentimes do come in here and change the size um, to 16 or 18 point just to make it more readable um, than the tiny font that, the that most themes start with. So customizing your content area, you can customize the background, the page title, the headers, and the text. And remember, your content area is this portion of the page here.